I know the general rule of video making is to show and not tell, but if I try to show you the process of building this keyboard, then I might as well delete my channel because this whole video is a shit show and it's very cringe. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. So I've been using this Logitech G203 membrane gaming keyboard and it's not like I actually bought it. It was actually given to me by a friend who had a better keyboard so he gave his own one to me. In case you were wondering what keyboard I had before this, but as I used this keyboard more and more, I started to realize why Daejun got a better keyboard. One, it sounds horrible. Number two, it feels like rubber. Probably because it's made out of rubber, you dumb fuck. Number three, it is a full size layout, which means every time I try to aim my mouse to the left, it will always hit the damn numpad. And nobody cares about my backstory. It's 2021. We don't have time to give a shit about other people when we're trying so hard to not die ourselves. Anyway. <laughs> You can tell from the intro alone that this video is probably going to be high effort. You're wrong. This video is actually shit. I have 60 subscribers, half of which aren't even real. They're fucking bot accounts made by Lucas thinking he's being nice to me. But what he doesn't know is every bot account he makes makes me one step closer to falling into depression. Did you guys know that only a small percentage... First, we're going to need a case. At first, I wanted something like a GK64 because it was like a classic budget keyboard build that every broke person will use, but who the fuck do you think I am? An average keyboard user? So as the average keyboard enjoyer, I scoured the internet to find something that looked premium but cost absolutely nothing. I stumbled upon this 65% kit on AliExpress, but then... This kit costs only $42. It offers three variants, white, black, This keyboard looks like the GMMK Pro but doesn't have the F keys which I don't need and it is made out of plastic. The package comes with a braided USB-C cable and stabilizers. And the best part is that it only costs 176 ringgit or $41 if you're racist. And it didn't even take that long to come. It took 30 days. Next up, we need the switches. It's basically this little thing where you press the thing and letters pop out. Now, I could go on and on about how many different switches there are, like just to name a few. Gateron Reds, Glorious Pandas, Box Gates, Tilio, Echo, Ocean Wheels. I just told you it was going to be a budget build, so I don't know what else were you expecting other than Gateron Yellows. Gateron Yellows, a budget-friendly linear switch that made so many keyboard builds possible today. This is because of its extremely cheap price and because it's, you know, good. Like, I don't know what else you expect from a good budget switch. Now these switches sound pretty good, but we can make them sound even better with loop. <laughs> now when it comes to loop, there are two types of people. The average kid who watch too much porn and the average keyboard enjoyer. Since I'm basically both, I think I'm the most qualified person to explain to you how the looping process works. Basically, I just use a paintbrush and put white sticky stuff onto the switch to make it sound better. I heard from other YouTubers that this process should be pretty relaxing, so let's go. Who was the first person to say that lubing switches is relaxing deserves a punch in the face because it fucking sucks and it's boring. I hate it here. Please, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Next up, we also need to loop the stabilizers. This is to make sure the long key, such as the spacebar and the enter key, sound more like this and less like this. Now, I would love to show you the process of looping my beautiful stabilizers if I actually remember to record them, which I didn't. All you need to know is that I looped them properly and I followed this tutorial by Hamaji Neo, which if you don't know, is actually a fellow Malaysian, so... Wait, that's the wrong song. So after fixing all the stabilizers and switches into the board, we now have the most satisfying part of the build, the keycaps. The keycaps are essentially the face of the keyboard. They are what gives the build its personality. Huge variety, massive price points, and beautiful design. Now, since this is my first keyboard, I wanted something a bit more simple and minimalistic. Something black and white. If you want a keycap set of the best quality, I highly suggest GMK keycaps. They are the best sets on the market. Luckily, I heard that GMK Hennessy is available in drop.com, so let's just head over to their site and add this to cart. So I got this keycap set for 95 ringgit on Shopee and it looks fucking sexy and amazing. Just look at it. Look at it! Oh my god! 
Have you ever had an idea that you felt was really good so you decided to make a video about it and then you instantly regret it because it's way too cringy but you've already spent so much time and effort into it that you have to follow through? Me neither! <laughs>